Hi everyone. In my previous video, I introduced a tool that converts pure data patches into user units for the MTS1 Mark II. This time, I'm excited to show you the next evolution, a version made specifically for the MTS3 Chaos Pad. Okay, so different from previous log series devices, the NTS3 Chaos Pad focuses on real time touch control and uses only one type of user unit, the generic FX. So you can't load user units made for the NTS1 or NTS1 Mark II. However, with this new conversion tool, you can make your own user units that run on the NTS3 Chaos Pad using pure data. And just like before, this tool is available as a web application. You can choose the conversion mode, upload your patch, and download the init file. No programming in C or C++ required. Let's start with the generic FX type. Unlike the previous platforms, the NTS3 doesn't have oscillator, mod, delay, or reverb slots. Instead, it runs only generic FX units, which handle all audio and control processing. The footprint is limited. The total code and data size must fit within 32 kilobytes. You can use up to 3 megabytes of additional memory for audio data buffering. Up to 8 user parameters are available, which can be assigned to the touchpad on the device. If you want your patch to receive values from the touchpad, you can map the X and Y positions or the FX depth value to your patch parameters using the Assign menu on the NTS3. In addition, the conversion tool provides several built-in variables whose values change in real time according to the state of the touchpad. The tool actually provides three conversion modes, generic FX, oscillator FX, and background FX. Generic FX is the main mode for interactive effects. It reacts to finger movement and stops when the user lifts their hand. Okay, so oscillator FX provides built-in variables like pitch, SLFO, and noton trigger, the same ones used in oscillator units for other platforms. That means you can take an oscillator type pure data patch made for the NTS1 or NTS1 Mark II, convert it here, and use it on the NTS3 as a touch-based sound generator. Just remember, if you use a free-running oscillator patch on the NTS3, you'll need to add your own envelope. Otherwise, it will keep sounding continuously. Okay, background FX works like generic FX, but it keeps running even after you lift your finger. This is useful for continuous ambient effects or drones. Let's see how to use it. Open the converter page for the NT3 Chaos Pad. The link is in the description. Choose one of the three conversion modes, then drag and drop your pure data patch. The tool will compile it into a ready-to-use NTS3 user unit file. You can then transfer it to your device via the Krog library and software. That's all it takes, from pure data to NTS3 in just a few clicks. 
Here's a simple example. A patch that changes the filter cutoff with your finger's X position and adds resonance with Y. As you touch and move around, you can hear the sound respond in real time. After you lift your finger, it goes back to normal. I mean silent in this case. But if you build this same patch in background FX mode, the effect stays active. As you can see, the NTS3 Chaos Pad version of the converter brings pure data right to your fingertips, literally. You can now design your own Chaos style effects, touch control the synth, or evolving background textures. The web app is available now. Please check the description below for the URL. Thank you for watching and see you next time.